I was a mortal once. A prince then. A prince now. Welcome back everyone to Total Warhammer 3 in part 2 of our Kevin the Demon Prince, SFO Grimhammer, and Old World campaign. In today's episode we're going to continue our Dark Crusade across Norska. Uh, the Aisling tribe needs to feel the cold sting of death, but before we do we have some uh, diplomacy to get to. So we're going to try to weave a alliance with Azazel up here. We have noticed when I come up into diplomacy we have met Azazel, we just didn't exactly see where he was. If you pull up into the cloudy map, there's season. a little bit of a purple here. Uh, so Zazel is right in this area. He's not liking us at the moment just because of a strategic threat, uh, but he is currently at war with the Ancestral Throng. So we're going to do a bit of a dash to the goods. We're going to go ahead and yes, offer to join his war against see. Grom Brindle, which I, I mean, very fairly could be our end. He's going to have to warp himself through the Underweight to come after us. So at least we have a turn or two to attack him before he's able to jump on any of our settlements, as long as we keep one of our, our two lords there. So we'll go ahead and offer to join our war, or his war against them. And then if I can pay him for a non-aggression pact, I'm going to. 4,000? This is a lot, but we're about to gain a whole bunch more. We'll take this non-aggression pact Good. for a war. And then we'll come on in and offer peace with the Aisling tribe. A timely arrival. My warhounds haven't eaten in days. Little do they know, we are going to immediately stab them in the back. They're this 50 positive. All of their gold 10,000 is now coming to me. You have my faith. So we have now declared peace with the Aisling tribe, which is going to make the Nurgle group below us a little bit irritated. But then we're going to immediately betray them next turn and stab them in the back because 14,000 favor. We still need to finish off this, uh, this province here and the Aisling are in our way. How irritated are they with us? It's still improving, so, I mean, as soon as we stab them in the back, it'll likely improve further. It'll just depend on how much we actually lose um, reliability, how much that actually matters to us as a demon. I think making a, a demon, a pact with a demon where you give them all of your gold and then uh, nothing more seems very foolish. Now, we just need your souls. So we're going to come on over back to our main province, and we're going to upgrade the monument of, or monolith of Horgold. I'm sure we're going to say that innumerable times. We've got all of the cash sitting here waiting. Can we do any more deal making? I think it'd be a good idea to wait until next turn either way. Prince. That way there's a little bit more positive attitude here with Azazel. See you later, purple people leader. Alright, let's go ahead and end our turn. Alright, even oh, he's gonna try to tell us about the customization. No, I I well know everything about customization, thank you. We've got a new mission, a hero becomes a legend, so win 10 battles, we get a heap of glory, mostly of the Coronate variety. Which makes sense due to all of the, uh, a brawling we need to get to. Of Perfect. And for our actual demonic, oh, we've unlocked the wingless traits. We would lose our wings, of course, but gain more at mass. The flow of battle ability, so we have an activated area effect where we could gain some more speed, heap of physical resistance, and then some more weapon strength. I mean, we would lose then our Pestilent Decay ability, which is awesome. Dropping their already very low armor of the Norskins. So I don't think Wingless is what we're going to go for, but what does it look like? Oh yeah, that's, that's unnatural. Back to Eroded Wings. And then what I was going to plan is we're going to max out all of the, all of the trees here before we dedicate to Tzinch. That way we get all of the buffs that we can possibly gain. I'm going to focus on Divided first. That way we get all the upkeep reduction and the extra colonization cost reduction and everything like that. There's also the Fanged Prince, which just gives us more glory across the board. And even, I think, the Assortments of Chaos, or the Armaments of Chaos, rather, is going to do the exact same thing, where we drop upkeep by 10% and then get a little bit of experience. Uh, the Zinchian one is great, but it's only going to really increase the recruit rank, uh, which is fine when you're recruiting new units, but uh, we want to be making sure we're boosting them up to gold chevrons as fast as possible. Veterancy is the way. And now we're going to immediately betray these guys. Deity protects you. 
Yes, you poor fools. In fact, we're gonna betray you and make some gold while doing it. I'll join your war against the Aceling. And you shall provide with me, I guess, the smallest portion of gold. And we are now very low reliability, which is fine. How much does that make the Aesthetic Legion? Oh, they don't care at all. Not even a little bit. That is perfect. Never punished. All right, so Kevin, we're going to bring you and a lot up. Why not? Why not? I want to bring you in to reinforce and have you claim the town. I don't think that's going to work. So you just come on over so you can actually reinforce against this other army so we can get all the experience. Once they hit rank 15, they can turn into the exalted version. Or I guess they get replaced by the exalted version. I don't think they're meant to survive. Yeah, actually reach. How unfortunate. Now we got played there a little bit. He will assist if we attack the town itself, but not if we go after Stig. Oh well, more experience for Kevin. I think we would gain even more glory taking down Stig because we could dedicate that win and then dedicate the town as well. So let's go for Stig first. Maximize our glory here. It just minimizes our... Oh, he's going to run. Well, that actually minimizes our glory. Unfortunate. And he has the opportunity to attack Laozi directly. Okay, well, we'll take this win with... An oh, no, he's right here. Back and forth. We'll take this win. 254 of our own loss. And the Gore Hunt Hall shall be occupied for Slanesh. We give ourselves a Drill Master. And the Ranger's Standard. Awesome. Although, now Lao Tzu's gonna have to fight for his life. He's got a Cornate Zealot. And what kind of skills can we pass out to you? We're gonna need some help. Let's upgrade your blue fire and... Firestorm Blades. Probably a better call. 10% weapon strength or 8%. That's a seems pretty obvious. Extra experience gain for characters, and then the Strider. Standard. Oh, a small I blue chicken is going to have to throw down against all of the Norskins. This is gonna go poorly. Oh man. It presents no challenge. No. Whenever he can he can actually reinforce. We're good to go. Here for nothing. Uh, let's go ahead and it's going to take five turns for an additional point of population. So we'll do, I will go ahead and upgrade the other monolith there of Akka. SFO tends to drop your income if you throw in the defensive building, so we're not going to yet. Uh, we are instead. Oh, really? We don't even have enough uh, Zinchian favor for the pink horrors yet. That's pretty sad. We should probably go ahead and grab the Zinchian Scrying Crystal to increase our corruption here and the glory gained. Keep moving down all of those paths as fast as we can. Uh, here in Isgard, is I believe how you would pronounce that. We'll go ahead and have the Zinchian favor dropped in as well. Undivided is pretty good, but let's let's grab that extra favor and glory. Perfect. Victory is All right, and Stig comes on in to face his end with honor. So we shall go ahead and uh, take this challenge. He has a few javelins, so these guys we're definitely going to need to worry about since they've got the bonus V large and armor piercing. Uh, so if they get any amount of javelin shocks into uh, Kevin himself, it's going to be a really, really bad day. So we'll have to be a little bit smart with it. A decisive victory with a medium casualties. Is it going to take out just just oh our blood all of the corn hate troops looks like Zeech hates corn after all we're gonna try to leave these blood letters in our armies as long as we can but let's swing on in and swish old cheese greater face all right let's channel our uh or i guess start deployment channeling magic is still i'm thinking it's still broken 
Uh, if you know if it has been fixed, or if they say it's been fixed, let me know in those comments. Let's get our squad set on up. We'll get the blue horrors first. I'm just going to move a couple of them around ever so slightly. You can't really reduce their uh, rank and file too much to actually help out, so we'll just leave them at like so. And we'll put the pink horrors in right behind them. They have a slightly more range, and that'll be our main missile core. Uh, so let's grab our two heroes here. So we've got Kevin the second and Krom the Alures of Slanesh. The Lash of Slanesh, which drops in Pleasure, which I guess increases leadership in melee defense. That seems like something we don't want to do. That only when it hits our units or when it hits everyone. Interesting. Slanesh has buffs to give them enemy. And then we've got Acquiescence, of course, which drops melee defense by 25 and speed by 25%. Good stuff. I'm thinking, since they don't have... Well, they've got a couple uh, hounds, but I don't think those count as large units. We can check with our own, of course. Nope, they are but small infantry units. We'll keep the Marauders of Zinch in the middle. And then I'm going to clump them up a lot. Good old Phalanx of Zinch. Not a very uh, staunch one because they've just got barriers. Besides that, it's just their, their bare skin. Which is not not the preferable way to uh, run into battle, I can't lie. And then we'll have the Devoted Marauders of Slanesh on the sides as fairly decent units. Keep them back a little ways away from the Spearmen. That way, if we can help it, they can charge on the sides. Whoever does attack them. Of it. And now we just need our blood letters, which since they're so weakened, we should likely heat them together, but we're not going to. These guys here. And on the other side, we'll just give them a green of demonettes. Super undivided looking army here. We've got all of our Chaos Furies of Slanesh, which we'll keep up front. And we'll just send them after one of the groups of Skirmish Cavalry when they come on over. So the other Furies, the ones of Thieves, that are going to be a little bit more useful. Still great at running down uh, the enemy skirmish cav. Seekers will keep together. Double Seeker squad. Then we can have the plague drones rolling with our hounds of corn in the woods here. I said in the woods here. There we go. We want everyone pretty close together. They've got lots of uh, speedy units themselves. So they're going to try to move out around us. We can stop that before it happens. I'm here for it. Perfect. Or the rest we're going to put here, behind the phalanx of proper soldiers, and then we'll have the demonettes on this side, since we don't know where our uh, enemy is deploying. Good old Prince Kevin. And then we'll get the normal infantry in a squad, missile with guard mode activated, and then all the RCP units, and then the expendables. Love it. God Slayer's Fist. We're going to move up here. Our Seekers are invisible off the start. They've got the... I think it's unspottable fully. Even better than stock. Well, they've got stock and unspottable, the combination. Okay, so we'll rotate half the group. Kind of like so, but we want the Spearmen out front. Because they're not going to be really fighting the uh, Hound Dogs at all. Bring them back and around. What's the plan there, hounds? They might be trying to discover my own here. Let's move in and smack them. We'll sit in the Slaneshi ones, too. Uh, Demonettes, go with them. Thank you kindly. We'll go help out our horn hounds of corn there. They're going to really struggle against their, their adversaries. Uh, I'm going to have this group, and even Kevin... Uh, you two eliminate these uh, great weapon rotters when they come on in. And quarters do your thing. Let's get them. Yeah, we're going to lose that group of demon S, but that's fine. Double servants of Slanesh. And now, Kevin, you can swing on in and go get that Marauder Chieftain. He looks like he wants a hug. And you can deliver. Right, the sounds are gone. We're going to make sure our. Plague drones are chasing them off. Kevin, we'll go ahead and activate your abilities. 
He's gonna rampage, and we're gonna send the other Furies here. I guess the ones that we chose to chose to do nothing. Have them go deal with these Marauder Hunters before they do any more damage to Kevin. Ouch. There we go, that's beautiful. Beautiful carnage. We just forgot our demon nets. Go ahead and charge them. We'll go ahead and order corn over here on this side. They're doing what they can. Reinforced over here, but I think it's a little bit too late. Uh, side is crushed, moved everyone on in. We're gonna lose some of our theories, which is sad. Never would have guessed they would have gonna use these guys as actual cavalry. That's uh, only we've got so much gold we can replenish it all, no problem. Love it. Well, there's our victory. I'm gonna go ahead and round up as many of these Norsons as we can, and I'll just roll them on. Alright, we managed to upgrade our victory, even though we did lose some of our ZG and Chaos Furies. A little bit sad if we waited for our uh, reinforcements to come in. I just don't know if they would have made it in time. It's okay, we can record, recruit more all the same. We shall dedicate this victory... Uh, ...to Undivided. Howl of the Skull Throne. A score of your hell-sent warriors lies slaughtered. And astride their hacked apart corpses stands one of their own. Screaming in unbridled furies, its very flesh violently reshapes itself. Crimson skin, rippling red muscle, and the acrid tang of hellfire. The mark of corn, the blood god. Oh, we've got a blood reaper. A chanthrar, a flesh ripper. They're really trying to make us go corn. Now we've got a standard of discipline, which would be great for our demons, and then we've got a new ROR unit. Polikers, Bubonic. Uh, so after we knock out eight technologies, we will then gain an even larger grip of uh, glory, mostly Zijian. That Chanthar. It makes no sense for you to be in uh, Lao Tzu's army, but I think that's where we're going to have you. Well, Kevin has no heroes at the moment, so we're going to join you up with Kevin. Normally, these guys have the ability to drop enemies of fire resistance in the area. Let's see if they still do. Leadership. What do you guys have going on? Locus of Fury and then Locus of Wrath. I know it's here. Build the Chalice. There it is. Men enemy fire resistance minus 10%. Oh, that doesn't actually help out against... That's not weakness. That's resistance. This just drops any uh, resistances they may have. I've gotten those mixed up before. Uh, first, we're going to go ahead and grab Respect of the North. And then we're going to start grabbing down the Marcus Thief. This loses give us a little bit of a bump. Hopefully avoid any kind of wars with other Chaos Factions off the start. We've got the Deathbringer Blade, which has a fair couple things. And then the Staff of Reaping just loses a single point of weapon strength. Gates a little bit more Winds of Magic Power Reserve. He has no spells at the moment, but he will. Start beating some fools down with a Scythe of uh, Chaos. This thing looks awesome. More of a Dark Souls weapon. He would definitely gain that from... Slaying a very grotesque looking probably rabbit. The only Kevin? There's Jay. still Jisoo here. Uh, instead of having Mars. Kevin do it, never mind, he has the most uh, glory gain. Immediate indecision. Let's give this one to the auto resolve. How many are we gonna lose? 251. Well fought there, Norskins. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and grab Zinchian. Glory this time, and a master musician. The Adagio will tear your heart out. Oh, awesome. Extra movement range. I don't want any Adagio while, while marching, though. Let's go ahead and jump into... March Stance, because we're not really going to throw down with these... These Norskins at all. And we'll move down to the Monolith of Valmir. I don't trust that... Uh, the Dawi aren't just going to rush up out of the mountains and come and attack us, avoiding everyone else. So let's get over there as quickly as we can. So let's start by going to the mon monolith of Valmir. And Chanthar can just follow you down here. You still had movement? How is that possible? Either way, we'll have you come on back as well. In normal stance, that way we can actually recruit some troops. Here at the altar of spawns, we can grab the conjuring stones, increase that ZG and glory. 
Uh, six turns on our growth. It's a little bit slow. As soon as the monolith actually upgrades, though, we, we're going to go for even more. Uh, the Aceling's Conclave is going to go to Tier 2. Lovely stuff. Uh, so, Lao Tzu. Every time I see this, oh, we're going to definitely name one uh, Sun Tzu and Confucius. We'll get all of the, the Philosophers if we have each of our each of our Heralds and otherwise I've seen will be different natural Philosophers. So let's grab for one more Fury of Teach. And then Blue Horrors or some Missile Troopers. Very cheap Missile Troopers. Perfect. And it'll be another turn. Right, we've got a, another mission issued. We've got a bunch of these things stacking on up now. We need to capture three provinces and that'll give us a bunch of uh, glory, but mostly Cornate. Uh, it does make sense. We've got some fell cargo out there to grab. So we may have Lao Tzu turn around and grab that instead of following Kevin. Whom we will switch back over into a normal stance. We can recruit some soldiers. We'll get moving towards the monolith of Torgold here. More in our territory than theirs. Or closer towards uh, the Dawi. You go join up. Increase that mobility. And then Lao Tzu, you come on over to the Gorhunt Hall with the... Oh, awesome. Kevin, you big fool. Misclicks all abound. Uh, what happens is that hero jumped into his army, which switched our, our selection over. Lao Tzu used to here. We can grab more blue horrors. I actually think some bonus versus large Slaneshi Furies are going to be the way to go here. Even if they cost a little bit more. Right. They've also got a little bit more armor piercing than the others. Any kind of deals to be had. For now, we just have the basic ones with Azazel. I, you dare me? I'm here now. And as long as we are, we increasing with Azazel. We up to twenty-seven next turn. Though it says currently we are at. Oh no, we're currently at we are at eleven. It was negative three total. That works entirely. Even Kimri doesn't mind us. Though we are negative 95. War is uh, likely. How well are they doing? They still haven't taken the, the stronghold yet. Which is a really good sign. Before we hit the turn, though, I saw Oxiato. Where is he at? That's concerning. Oh no. Oxiato's got four settlements. Here comes the Doom Skink. Although I don't think he's nearly as dangerous when you were not playing him. Alright, the Apostles of Change are gone, and now uh, Karnath's sons have declared on Azazel as well. Okay, so this is where the Dawi are. Hazad Dumbund. Not a good sign, but let's go ahead and send it loud Sion out, and I'm going to actually give him the Aural War. Yeah, they're very expensive for Nurglings. They do have the Blister Back ability, which is going to be reflecting damage back at fools. And some lethal poison. That'll be very good in case we have to fight any vampires. So we'll grab them on in. Let's jump out to this El Cargo. I don't think is the combat one. But yeah, it is indeed. From the crow's nest, from the shouts that broken mass can be seen piercing the ocean surface. Look out, has spotted a sunken ship lying in the waters amongst some distant shoals. Located far from an inhabited shoreline or any known sailing routes, it is the markings of a pirate galleon. A mysterious looking pirate ship in this location cannot be here without good reason. And perhaps that reason involves treasure. And so we shall sail and grab this treasure. What say you, pirates? Oh, good grief, a rotting leviathan. That's not a good sign. Um, let's go for Strider on our lord there so we can run away. And Banner of Eternal Flames on. Just one of our spearmen. Luckily, all of the actual deckhands are not going to be much of a threat. She the spirit leech one, though. Oh no, that's actually also very good. So we really just need to focus this leviathan down with all of our missile units at the bone crusher. This is going to be lovely. Let's get them.
Right, Battle of the Acelings, Conclave will start deployment, make sure we are nowhere near where those cannons can get a hold of us. And we also want to be trying to fight in the forests here, so let's go ahead and grab... Uh, we want to try to fight in the forests with some of our units. I'm trying to think, what's be the best call here? We can sprint up a little ways with our spearmen. Uh, cannons won't be able to fire because of the hill here, so we can kind of stay on the other side of the hill. Some of them in the woods are, are missile troops in the woods. Well, uh, so, Frolicker's Bubonic, you're going to stay on this side. We're going to try to get you involved with the enemy Crab of Doom. All of our Furies spread across the back. They can go pretty much wherever they want. And then we'll have the Blue Horrors. And actually, we don't mind the Sour Guts getting involved in a fight because they explode and do damage, but we'd rather it not be with uh, that big crab. Okay, some infantry, missile troopers, and then the Furies. We've got the Blue Fire. We're going to be launching all of the Blue Fire at the enemy Lord. To battle. I've actually got a jet flying overhead, so I'm going to mute for a moment while we get set up, and that flies over. All right, it appears we're in the clear now. Uh, so let's get the uh, here he's on up. We're, we're pretty close to a small kind of regional airport, so occasionally we get interrupted. I used to stop the recording entirely, but now uh, it seems like a bit much. So we just simply mute for a moment. Oh, they're firing on my theories with the cannons. What a waste of ammunition. That barrier will recharge. Ooh, unless, unless you get hit. They might have that extra ac accuracy uh, buff added. Let's get over here behind the trees. So they switched to the other Furies. A bold strategy. Get up on top of the hill and start launching blue fires. Move them up so they can start replenishing. They got hit a few times. Let's start bringing them over away now. Other Furies just screen them. They can absorb a couple of cannonballs with that, with that barrier, which is silly. Bring all the spears round. We're going to have these Nurglings fall back just a little bit. And now let's start launching blue fires. Let's see how if we can get damage on the fleet captain. Should go up and over. Rusty blades. Allow us to help you cauterize them. Oh, all of them. That can't feel good. Fair bit of damage there. He did miscast, but he doesn't care because he's got that uh, lovely shield. So let's start falling back. Bat Micro. Enjoying watching the mage do his thing. Here he's the most expendable, though. Ooh, you tried it. Do we have enough for the blue fire again? No. You can start chucking your individual rounds at these guys. He may be out of range. But he's not out of range for another blue fire. I am so surprised they haven't moved up on us. Move these Furies wide. I want to keep firing on these ones. That, that works for me. Blue fire headed your way. Serious damage. I'm also curious, for science, how much damage we get here on this gun mob. Yoink. I mean, that blends them up pretty nicely. Well done there, Loud Z. I mean, of course, our, our Furies over here are suffering for it. They're failing the game of dodgeball quite aggressively. Let's fall back out of range. Uh, give yourself some more uh, magic, please. We lost a couple more Furies. Oh, the chickens. The horror. Another blue fire on the Lord. And we can have the pink horrors move up and start doing some damage to this deckhand mob. There's 
no way they're still firing on this group. All right, I hit a few there, but not very many. We're just gonna ignore it. Eeries matter all but zero. Enjoy your pink and blue bath. Nearly gone already. And let's have you run away, let your barrier absorb some of that damage. How much magic do we have access to? 54 or more. So we're, we're good, but we'll go ahead and save. Those Furies have finally got through their shields, so let's go ahead and fall back. Let them switch to one of our others. Barrier cheese. Finally, we get to be the space wizard we have always... Always claimed to be. You guys are missing a lot. Which is frustrating me. Let's stop doing that. Uh, cease fire for me. With these pink horrors. Fall back ever so slightly, but still to the top of the hill. Alright, they did get through this shield pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and fall back. Get out of range. And then another blue fire to deal with the Vampiress. You go ahead and blanket these deckhands to get rid of them a little bit faster. I see. It's gonna be like that, is it? She's already crumbling away, though. We overcast it and launch it from here. And no, that's just more damage. Fair enough. Deerman on top of the hill. And we'll just go ahead and have you threaten the back line there. Actually, a bit surprised they haven't dealt with this group already. You just pull through the enemy spear line. I think fire is not that effective. There we go. Push through the line, and now the last blue fire is all we need. We can see how much damage we get on the big lobster next. Yeah. It was a nightmare to see those coming at you. Yeah, she's gone. That's enough damage to break. You go ahead and fall back. Ooh, maybe not everyone. What are you guys up to? You two stay there. Move up and deal with these idiots next. More winds of magic. Right, we're still getting cannoned with the enemy lords gone. Huge penalty to their leadership. Cotton candy death. But chop them up. You're not great in a melee, but you should be fine against zombie deckhand mob. Especially with that much blue fire coming in to help. Bring up the other archer lads. We've got another jet flag over there. Might be having some uh, exercises today. So I'll mute. We'll be back. Once again, we're safe. And no one wants to move towards us. You just push through the line if you can. And then we'll come on over and launch the blue fire at someone else. Start moving the uh, the actual melee lads in now. We tried to pull them into the woods, but it didn't work. Mostly because of my own uh, impatience. Keep running away from this squad. Being closer is very dangerous, but we're going to need to. Stab them in the back. You guys move on forward. Let's go ahead and blanket this group in some doom. Threaten there for me where you can. I love the spearmen to move up. Get ready to help. I really want to use the pink fire here, but I think we will. The Yoga Ball of Doom is not the best in a, a melee for sure. Let's go for that blue fire on the Carronades. Gears move in to stop this gun mob. You guys start launching yours. Move everyone else up as well. Get ready. Alright, Furies. 
everyone all at once. And then we'll just make sure to blast the big leviathan once we close the gap. Alright, blue horror is up. Start blasting your shot at this big creature here. Lock them down. We've got several Furies coming on in. We'll have the second group uh, get the other gun mob. Blue fire towards the big lobster. Pink fire, too. The flame will make it more susceptible to fire damage. And it should be good to surround it. Smashing his way through our lines of demons. Alright, these shotguns here need some help. We lost an entire group all at once. That's awesome. Well done there, shotguns. I thought I had a unit uh, engaging them, and we did not. So we got severely punished for it. Bring us to the spears in. Blue horrors, you come through. I'll we'll just keep launching blue fire overcasted here. Losing some furies is not the end of the day. Or end of the world. This poor fool is getting it. A some mooch. Alright, we just do units of furies here. They're not the best, are they? Even with their barrier. A little more of a hit-and-run style attacker. Not great at that. For one move through. Big lobsters throwing down as hard as possible. I think Lex is slaying that many, though. A lot of its damage even being reflected back at it by the nerdlings there. Sorry, big beastie, not today. Another blue fire. As long as we don't have as much friendly fire damage. Back in, let's bring the Furies away if we can. We just lose all of our Furies. Which would be pretty poetic. Can you keep blasting this Leviathan for me? It'd be great to win. All right, there we go. Big Lobster's gone, and then the rest of the pirates. Speed that along. End victory. Disintegrate away into dandruff, you little demons. There they go. You may call it a victory, I'll call it fortunate. Fortunate that we get some gold now. All right, we'll take the win. We lost two of our Furies, which we will be replacing very soon with the Slodneshi variant. Then we will send in the ones that are a little bit more tanky, and we'll send in the armor-piercing and devastating flankers on the side. This set we're also going to go ahead and offer to Zinch. The faster we get up to the ability to summon in some more heroes, the better. Because they're free. I was such a deep voice, I couldn't even hear what you said. As you approached the wreckage, a galleon of undead pirates appeared in a cloud of broadside guns and hissing black powder. After we exploded them with uh, purple fire and reduced them into glowing goop, we gained all the goodies. So, a uh, helm of discord and some lost cargo. The extra growth is going to be great. The income is nice as well, but it's not as, not as impactful yet. We'll go into full speed, and I think it's probably smartest. Plus, enough, these guys don't like us. Let's go back to the Gore Hunt Hall. Oh, Kevin here. We're moving in to attack the mountains. And surprisingly, the mountainous climate is unpleasant. Don't be such a wuss, Demons of Chaos. Mountains aren't that big a deal. Let's move to the monolith of Dorgold. We could also stab these demons, or warriors of chaos, in the back. Cetra is going to be an issue the longer we let him build up. He's already got his crown. Vengeance against the Norselings, or the uh, Norskins, is assured. Garrison will give us more experience gains. We'll stay here for a turn. We've got the Featherless Beak, which gives us the Arcane Mirth ability, and Zinch's Firestorm. Pulls a little bit of extra uh, hit points for our barrier. 
What's the barrier looking like? 125, so I would double it. Lose a bit of leadership, and then 50 weapon strength. We gain Firestorm. Oh, yep. Birdification has begun. And this is a nightmare. For our right arm, we can switch out the Immortal Blow, which is fine. Small explosion. Oh, neat. With a fairly good bit of damage. Or these heavy brazers, which will let us summon in some blue horrors and then give us the Plague of Rust. Will we get it upgraded? A hundred armor? I mean, okay. If we must. We are now very blue. Looks like all we can get extra at the moment. We can make him wingless. The nightmare fuel chicken sprinting at you at Mach 4. I kind of want to do this. Ah, we need him in the air, though, so he's able to actually be a nuisance. This will also give him a little bit more health and some missile resistance. Oh, he just loses a bit of speed, which is fine. A Nurgle is each combo demon prince. And while we're here, we might as well grab the Fires of Chaos in case someone wants to try anything. Serve me. Serve chaos. I don't really want these Chaos Warhounds. But they're very cheap, so we'll, we'll keep them for now. I don't really want the Nurglings. But at the moment, we are a bit stymied on our upgrades, so sit and wait and do some upgrades to the overall down here. So the older response has got the Conjuring Stones. We just need more Zinchian uh, glory up to 440 for the pink horrors, or the yeah, pink horrors. Alright, such is the way. Skill points for Lao Z. Magical. Let's go ahead and give you the route marcher now so you can actually get around in our territory. Some of Discord will be great on Flesh Ripper. Stop. And we'll just go ahead and give him the Sword of Might. Position for more movement range sounds good. We'll take the drill master from a uh, loud C. Loud C also shouldn't have the coordinate zilla. That seems that seems wrong. In fact, we'll come back over and take Cinches that off. Slave. Cinches, we have a trickster instead, and then the standard is of discipline. All of the extra standards. Coordinate zilla can go to you, since you are of corn. Excellent stuff. So we wait. 15 turns in. Factions are being wiped out left and right. We need to recruit an additional lord. Give us some corn and Nurgle glory. We can definitely get up with that. Since we have been so effective, who are all are you fighting besides... Just... How well are they doing? I don't have time for words, Strength rank 85. We need me. Fighting the Varg as well as us. The Varg are just up here. Sertha Ek. Sertha Ek himself. Waiting for a random uh, teleport over when uh, Oxyhotl just shows up. Punches in the back of the head and runs away. Uh, fighter. Now that we get up to in the Diplomacy tab, so let's continue to upgrade our settlements. I'm thinking uh, the Gorhunt Hall so we can continue up our extra construction time reduction for all of our buildings. Seems pretty good. Cascade into even more. Much power. Well, Cajuns, absolutely. And then we want to grab the Animal Cultist Camp here for extra experience gain, growth, Nurgle glory. Or we can prepare for when we're able to have the pink horrors with the Tzinchian altar. So Gives us more capacity for our Chaos Warriors. Or we go all in on that uh, Tzinch growth and grab yet another Scrying Crystal. Only ever take it up to tier 3 though. Income, income generated, and then garrison of pink horrors. 
experience generated per turn, and then some upkeep production at the Brass Tower. Some really good buildings. Let's snag the Cultist Camp of Animals. And then when we upgrade the Monolith of Haka here, that's where we'll put in the Tsinchian military building. Even if it doesn't make all the sense here in the Slaneshi dedicated village, we'll be blending Slaneshi and Tsinch all over the place. The master day. Glorious mess. Kevin, start moving in. Curious momentum. I don't mind switching over into the encamp stance. We're gonna build up troopers a little bit more, so we'll just gonna stay here in this valley. We'll bring Lao Tzu over to the Acelings Conclave. I claim it. Nothing else out on the ocean here. All the way over here, so we may move that way eventually. Let's just go ahead and grab him the two Tsinchian Furies, or obviously the Slaneshi Furies, and then some more Blue Horrors. Pretty sure we can afford that, and then we'll go ahead and grab ourselves a Lord we're never going to use. So let's just grab one of these Heralds of Slanesh that we don't care about. Broken Arrows. Figure of the Joyous. Yeah, Cherus the Sword Chewer. Maybe don't chew on swords, but we'll recruit you and then see you later, just to complete this mission. And I do too. Kick you right out into the sea. Flash. Worked out. Now, how much further are we down the glory path? We've got the spine body and access to the flesh hounds. Flesh hounds are awesome. Spine body is definitely going to be better than the Mark of Chaos because we've got the Tempered Rage, so each kill he makes will be increasing his damage resistance up to 20%. Looks like the max is 75 kills. So maybe one good cast from our Firestorm at each. You've got yourself a new collar, and it looks like it is a spicy collar. Imbued with the power of Kepstason. And that'll be our turn. Yeah. Speed is suffering. Your demons will not fight, for they spend every waking moment entwined, breaking at their fellows' unholy hides, gasping unspeakable moans. Get back to work. As the vast and fleshy throng eventually shudders into calm, from amongst its tangled limbs emerges a vision of captivating terror. Slanesh has sent an emissary. Ah, I was just complaining about our lack of, uh, lack of heroes, and now we've got ourselves. Touch me. See, that's not gonna work. Touche me. Right, welcome to Shay. Let's have you join up with Kevin as well. Give him a secondary spellcaster here. Uh, we'll kick out these Chaos Warhounds of Corn. Don't really need them for the long run. Everyone else here matters more. Seeking. Yes, you're going to make me uncomfortable the entire campaign. I cannot wait. Got one positive income now. Just one coin. Keep for Nurgle units, anything that gives us more gold. And besides, obviously, the teaching altar that I would like to build in instead. We need the gold, so let's let's be let's be smart with it and go for the soaring siphon. Grab the cultist outpost as well, just for some more experience gain. This one coin is is very concerning. Further construction time reduction seems good, too. Income from all buildings? Yeah, that's actually going to help us out, too. No more recruiting. You can go into a channeling stance and stand outside one of these settlements here. It's still got positive control, so no problem. You build up your magic. And keep an eye on the mountain. Ooh. That's not going to work. You will not be building up magic. Instead, you're going to sit in the, the monolith and gave me one coin. That foolish blue ruined everything. I feel like that would be a real big problem to grab this and be instantly punished. So I don't want to leave Kevin here. Blister Grawl doesn't necessarily trust that we're not here for violence. And that I understand. We might be here for violence. How well is Cetra doing? 
He's stymied out for a little bit, but that doesn't mean it's going to be for long. Okay, perfect. Well, we have some decisions to make. I'm thinking we're going to march our way through these uh, Nurgly demons. I just don't know what Blister Brawl has here in his army. Perhaps we send our... Hornet lad out. Find out. What all is here? Just a bunch of nerglings. Which can stop us cold with, the, with enough of them. Here's the plan. We're gonna have Kevin get real sneaky with it. There's a chance to succeed. We're just gonna stay where we're at. Bring Chanthar back into the squad. He did it for corn. And I'm actually going to remove one of these marauders. Well, they've got a little bit of a veteran I'm going to remove one of these guys. So we can be building up the smallest smidgen of income. That's all going to be all the time I've got for today. I have been at Space Wizard Total War. Remember to leave a like for the light god in us. I'll see you all in the next one.